Okay, now let's write a program to retrieve the data from the table that we have created uh, in the earlier video. So let me connect to the mainframe and uh, let me write this. Okay, so let's start with an identification division. Okay, so then comes up the program ID. Let's say db2pgm1. Okay. And then we have environment uh, division. Okay, then let's have a data division. And then we'll have a working storage uh, section here. And then let's uh, define this. This should be coming after 12th. The statements to call. Uh, exec sql so then we'll include we use a keyword called as include uh, to get that uh, dcl gen extracted file so end exec okay so our dcn gen was what was the name that we have given okay yeah demp so demp was the name that we have given so we have to write this here okay so now what is the next step that we'll do is uh, like uh, in the files concept when we heard of a file handling right so to check the error code or the, uh, to check the file status so in the similar way so for the when you're working with an sql concepts we do have some file status code so where that will be here you know so it will be there in the sql ca okay so in the SQL CA, you will be seeing that. Okay. So we have uh, now got the host variables where of include uh, DMP and then SQL CA related one. And then let's write the procedure division. Okay. So within the position division, uh, let's take uh, this is as a main para. Okay. And then let's write a, another SQL statement where we can retrieve some data select okay uh, what was that let me open this and let me take this okay or, or I can yeah I'll see this as a reference select employee ID comma and uh, employee name employee name comma employee date of birth comma employee salary okay uh, let's see why this is okay employee salary and employee department and employee department right come employee department so what we do here you know we will store this into or i can give a space here for a space into so host variables whenever you are calling that host variables you should use colon colon and uh, here what we had DCL DEMP right so we have to call this okay so that all the employee ID employee name data birth salary will be copied to the specific variables okay employee ID employee name data birth employee salary and defined so this structure will come here and it will be getting copied anyways so we have got the ex uh, all the entire data here right so into this so where if you want to apply any conditions and uh, from uh, DEMP so then you have to tell from which table you are pulling I am pulling it from which table DEMP DEMP was a table right so and uh, we can apply some conditions where uh, let's say EMP ID EMP ID uh, is equals to let's say E uh, 0001 zero, 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 okay then you have to end this statement and exit okay then now you can uh, display now you can display this particular record that is DCL DEMP okay then finally you can stop run so this is a very very simple program so what what is happening here so I can write some comments here 
this is calling the uh, DB2 table named DEMP and uh, capturing capturing uh, capturing the data and and writing it into into host variables right that is a uh, working storage variable that is local I can say working storage WS variables variables right so, okay so now I can also give some comments here okay okay so COBOL plus DB2 program calling the uh, table DEMP right so then if you want to write an author name so we can specify uh, the programmer name mm programmer let's say we can call it as Vijay Kumar okay then you can close this okay close and close yeah okay now we have uh, the entire program ready okay delete okay okay that's not very of time okay now that the program is completed so okay f8 f8 yeah so in the next video i'll show you how do we compile this and uh, execute this program right Okay, before we compile and execute the program so in while writing the program I have shown you one uh, include statement that is an uh, SQL CA so what does an SQL CA stands for it's an SQL communication area uh, structure that must be included in the embedded SQL program why so it, it is a structure that holds the information about the status of the last executed S SQL statements comma error codes and an error messages so that is the reason we have to use so if you if you have observed when we are working with the files concept either it can be in a KSDS, ESDS or a sequential files we have a written file status just to capture the what is the status of the file after fetching the record right similarly we wanted to see the status of the exec SQL statements after fetching the records from the table and want to, see, want to see the error codes and error message so how do we include it how did we include exec sql and include sqlc so let's see what does sqlc copybook will hold so it's it has these uh, system defined variables like uh, sqlc aid sqlc abc uh, code sql error message uh, then sql warming and sql status so it will sql state will uh, give you the status of the last run uh, SQL query okay so that how we can uh, use it in the copybook uh, include statement in within our program okay. okay now let's talk about the SQL CA SQL CA stands for SQL communication area uh, which holds the structure uh, of the embedded SQL program so unlike we have a files console where you used to check the file status of a KSD a sequential file or already so it's a similar way we can also check error messages and the warnings that a exit statement in the previous exit statement that it will hold right so this is how we wrote the syntax and the coming to the copybook of SQL CA so it looks like this so it has an SQL status code so so what is the status like 001 100 so whatever it is so SQL error D I mean uh, SQL error uh, messages and warnings that you can see while processing this exceptional conditions examples like 100 means uh, if you get 100 no rows fetched because of the condition is where a clause 
okay so when you're trying to apply some wear conditions and if you get the sql status code as 100 so that means no records has been fetched on the condition why well, because that condition is not matching so we can decide and we can write in the program saying like okay so there are no ro no records found for this particular specific conditions right 304 value cannot be assigned to the host variable because it is out of range sql states uh, here class code 00 and subclass code 00 means that sql statement execute successfully right uh, class code 01 means uh, that uh, SQLs executed but some warning condition exists in this case the subclass code mentions the exact warning message so SQL commands uh, supplied variable with some assigned name uh, SQL code 00 indicates uh, uh, successful and 100 indicates row was not found every SQL statement is evaluated with if or evaluate statement immediately after SQL uh, uh, statement to use SQL CA so in the copybook we write this uh, 01 SQL CA uh, SQL code S904 comp and SQL state a uh, picture class X of 1 right so exec SQL so then we will write a condition like if SQL code equal to 00 display success else display error and then you'll be ending up with this right okay